In this tutorial, we will learn how to create animated comics. So to get started, let's get a model. So click on the model tab, then click on the import image. Then we can import any image, and I have an image of two characters, both mom and dad, and it is in the PNG format, which is important and I'll explain why later. So once the image has been loaded, click next, and now we can see the facial feature points for mom's eyes and for her lips. Then notice the bounding box around her. We can move that box to encompass her, and later when we want to transform her around the scene, everything within this box will move together. Then let's create the character for dad, by clicking the add button. Then drag a box around him and place the points for his eyes and mouth. Then we can adjust the facial orientation for our characters, but they are looking straightforward so I think we don't need to worry about this step, so let's just press OK and move on. Remember I told you the image was in PNG format? This is important because it means my background has been automatically masked out for me. Notice the blue area representing the mask. This makes my life simpler, because when I want to change the background, I can do so quickly. For instance, I can choose a color background and you can see the characters automatically are separated from that blue background. I can just as easily import a new background, and since this is a comic, I will import an image of a single panel for a comic strip. Next we can turn on detailed facial features of our characters, but to learn more about this process, please watch the tutorial about face fitting. But for this tutorial, we're just going to fast forward this process so we can get to the script. So what we want to focus on is the script. So let's go ahead and open up the script and let's go to the stage. Now notice we have character zero and character one, but that's gonna be a little confusing. So character zero is his mom. So let's go ahead and rename her to mom. Then let's do the same for dad. So let's click on character one, rename to dad. All right, now we want to import some audio files to create the crazy talk scripts. But we could always just use new script or recorder voice or text to speech, but in this tutorial I just want to import some import an audio file that I already have on my hard drive. So let's go ahead and find that. So it's under comics audio and let's import mom's voice. And notice that the crazy talk script has been created for us. Now mom is gonna talk about something and then dad's gonna reply. So let's go ahead and click at the end of mom's script and then let's add in dad's script. So we'll go ahead and import this WAV file. So open that up. And now you see that the Crazy Talk script has been created for Dad. Now before we focus on Mom's script, there's one thing I want to add in for Dad. Whenever Mom is talking, I want Dad to actually seem to walk into the scene. So what I'm going to first do is create a new script that's not going to have any voice. And then we're going to double click on that, that Crazy Talk script for, without the voice. Then we're going to go to the Transform track, click on the very first key, then I'm going to use the key editor, grab the transform tool, and actually move dad. Okay, let's get the key editor out of the way so you can see clearly. Then we're going to move dad right out of the scene. That way later, he can walk into the scene. Alright, so let's go back to stage, and let's now focus on mom. Now, mom is over here on the left side, but I really want her to be in the middle of the scene. So we're going to do the same thing we just did to dad by clicking on the transform key. We're going to use the transform tool to move her over into the middle of the panel, the comic panel. That way, as soon as the scene begins, she's already in the middle. Like a comic effect, I want to have it transition as if she just suddenly appears in, like fades in. So to do so, we need to use a special effect. So to open that up, just double click on the special effect track. Then we need to go to image overlay. Then we can go to transition. Now, the first thing you may think, since we want her to fade in, is to use this transition effect of fade in. But that's not actually true, because what we want to use is fade out. And the reason why is because of a movie magic trick, which you will have a white panel placed in front of her. That white panel will fade out, giving the illusion of mom fading in. So we'll choose fade out. Then we'll go to the modify tab and actually change the size so that it encompasses her. So let's make it a little bit smaller maybe just a tiny bit smaller yeah that should be about right then we can use the transform key or excuse me the transform tool to move the the transition into the right spot then we can go to import 
and actually import the image we wish to use. So I have some images here and I can use this white image just like this and import that white image in and when we press the preview key you'll see how she fades in. So let's press OK and go back to our Crazy Talk script and make some adjustments to our fade in effect. So notice whenever I press play the special effect seems very very quick. What we can do is press the control key and drag out that special effect so that the effect of fading in is just a little bit slower. So when we press play, she will slowly fade in just like that. Since this is a comic, what we really would like to have is some comic effects or something that is very iconic of comic books. To do so, we'll use a special effect called text bubble. So what we can do is double click on the special effect and go to text special effects. And notice we have many, 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 many templates that we can use for special effects for text bubbles, such as thinking, or maybe even we have like a surprise text bubble, or we can have one that's like talking. This one I like, so I'm gonna use this one. But notice that it's not in the right position. It's way over here, but mom is here. So we want to move the text bubble over to the right. So let's go to modify, and then we can transform it into the right position. But notice the crazy talk is way up there. So what I want to do is maybe come here, press enter twice, and then when we preview, you'll notice that crazy talk six will actually be lower down. Then let's add in a few exclamation points just for fun. All right, press OK. And now you'll see that when we play mom, she fades in, then the crazy talk script bu text bubble will appear. But as you can see, mom looks like a robot when she's talking. Her eyes are staring straight forward. She's not having any facial animation except for the lip sync. So what we want to do is start here. We can use puppeteering to add in animation and record it live. And since mom is not a very happy person, she's always grumpy grumpy, we'll use the grumpy effect and we'll choose maybe happy. I know that sounds funny, grumpy, happy together, but that's what we'll use. So we'll record that, and when we press spacebar, we'll record live all the animation for that puppeteering, for that puppet profile. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can move the mouse up, down to make her eyebrows move, even click the mouse to have her blink a few times. Alright, so that's how we can do that. Now let's go back.